This is Twit. Cody, you are the teardown guy uh, for Android Police. The um, AP King. The APK teardown guy. Yeah, which APK means King. that you are, yes, the AP King. You're always looking for those clues that Google, I mean, is it just primary Google, primarily Google, or are you tearing down other apps as well? Uh, yeah, for what I do, I pretty much exclusively watch Google's apps, but um, we do, on a fairly regular basis, something will come up in the news, and I might go check out the latest version of Twitter to see if, like, confirm if some rumor is true, or... or um, uh, one thing that I've actually done quite a few times is I'll look into apps that have been accused of like scamming or malware. Um, there was a rumor, I want to say about four months ago, that WhatsApp, at least I think it was WhatsApp, was doing something really shady. And I went digging through that and completely debunked the theory. It was It was very obviously somebody making up something just to just to create conflict. So I, I go through a lot of other stuff, but uh, the writing itself is pretty much centered on Google Apps right now. The, that's not going to stay that way forever, but hint, hint. Um, but yeah, it's it's mostly Google for now. Got it. Um, how did you, I don't know, how did you learn to do this? Like, is it a complicated process to tear apart an APK and, and take a look? Are you scanning through or are you doing... Uh, search queries that that usually return something that's meaningful and interesting. How are you doing that? Um, well, you know, it's one of those things. It's if if there's a tool out there to use, I'll probably find some way to put it to the test. Um, for the most part, the average app, I, what I'm doing is just extracting the resources, de decompiling the code, and looking for things that have changed. That's uh, if you read the articles, you can usually kind of tell that's. That's what I'm going after. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever I see even the smallest clues, a lot of times I'll go digging in deeper. I test it on devices. I'm usually using whatever I can to try to find changes in the apps. And uh, it, it is both tearing down, looking for future changes, things that are going to be coming in the uh, at some future update or Google might uh, remotely enable. And then I'm also just looking for new changes in the app. So, I mean, you, I'm sure you've seen, we cover mm -hmm. both the teardowns and just the updates themselves. So, Absolutely. uh, yeah, it's digging around for whatever I can find. And are there, are there ever like those aha moments where you, you go diving, you find that secret and you're able to trigger it or, or something along those lines and get some sort of a big payoff. And it's like, this is why I do this. Is, is <laughs> you ever had that moment? Uh, every few weeks. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. So pretty frequently, um, not, not, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things. You don't always know what you're going to find. Yeah. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that'll turn up. And uh, sometimes like, I'm really excited to tell people, Hey, this new feature, it's going to be in photos someday. And you're going to love it. Like this is something you're going to show your family. You're going to love like, it. Those, <laughs> those are things you want to write about. Like yeah. it's, it's positive. It's cool. Um, and then one of my, like one of the weirdest ones, because it wasn't so much about the apps, but it was about the OS. I stumbled across uh, the thing everyone will remember at the time was um, the round icons that ended up becoming a part of the pixel launcher. Yeah. Alongside that, I also found the like rebirth of app shortcuts. And that was one of the features I thought was super cool in the, uh, uh, that was what M when it first appeared, and then it got taken out. Mm -hmm. And then when it reappeared in N, wait, am I mixing that up? Maybe it was beginning of N in the developer previews, and then it came back. I'd have to look again. Anyway, it, when I saw proof that that was coming back, it's like, okay, this this is great. That I know I don't know that it's going to get a lot of use, but I love this feature. I'm happy to see it coming back for real. What what a kind of a I don't know. It, lead time do you have on some of these things like i have to imagine there are clues i mean it, well it probably varies d depending on the the feature in the app but there had to be some clues that you've been tracking for a very long time and it's like i know this is going to happen someday it hasn't happened for a very very long time but it's not going away it's definitely going to happen are there any uh any of these that you've found that you're still tracking and waiting for something to materialize out of them uh yeah i've got I've got notes a mile long for so many different apps. Um, 
So yeah, I'm nice. I'm always watching for random things. The yeah. the round icons actually I didn't even think much of that for probably the first few weeks, but as one new app update kept coming out after another, it's like, wait a second, each of these seems to have round icons. This like these aren't just fabs. This is not just a coincidence. There's something here. And once I started p- putting it together, it's like, oh, wow, okay. I I can tell what's about to happen. And yeah. when calendar came out and had the dynamic date icon thing like that was the big tip off like okay it, we we know what's coming right so you're a detective of apps yeah. that's what you are you oh, you yeah. you sniff out the trail and uh you follow the leads um uh what what are other cliches <laughs> <laughs> uh well you know call it forensic analysis i mean yeah. this is that that's overplaying it a bit that's definitely overplaying it but it's along those lines you know you you look for whatever clue you can find and something will turn up. Right on. 